my thoughts to long departed days in gladness yet awaken like myriad stars with twinkling rays that friendly to me beckon come who will follow at my side through Nasiyarvi's darksome tide an old time soldier do I there relic of days long vanished an ensign's title did he bear but fortune's smile was banished God knoweth how he came one day to dwell where I had come to stay. I saw myself the best of men in all my merits vaster. I was a student to the then and bore the name of master. My portion kept me overfed by grace the old man ate his bread. I smoked the geffel vape and brand for mere sham by my fuel his kind he cut from leaf by hand, when want was not too cruel. In harder times, then most alone, for fuel in his pipe was thrown. A golden time all life inspired, but for delight and pleasure. When youthful student vigor fired, imbibes life's fullest measure. Nor other worry yet that know than that his mustache grows so slow. What knew I then of others' need? I solely felt my gladness. My arm was strong, my cheek was red, my pulses beat with madness. I was so wild, I was so young. Such pride abode not kings among. Indoors old ensign stood it sit, unmarked without a grumble. He smoked, he sucked, his net he knit, and let us others mumble. By heaven, when such one you scan, who would not think himself a man? It was my greatest sport to glance upon his bony figure, his manner stiff, his countenance, his coat not cut with rigor, but most of all his eagle nose, whereon his rimless glasses rose. Down to the old man oft I drew to play some harmless antic. It was my joy when vexed he grew, and tore his netting frantic, to take the needle from his hand and knit a false loop in the strand. Then swift he'd spring to flight bestirred, I from the cot was driven. Tobacco and a friendly word brought peace and sin forgiven. As I had come, I came once more, and played the same prank as before. But how it happened, hear my song, of sports I found me sated. Twas winter's time, my day was long, though daylight soon abated. It seemed so unlike days before, I thought it never would be o'er. I took a book, the first that came, to kill the hours diurnal. A war tale with no author's name, of Finland's the last, the journal. Unbound it lay, as though by grace, but mid-bound volumes held its place. I took it to my room, I stayed, and over the pages pumbled, till strange my eyes on the brigade of Savalax had stumbled. One line I read, then two I read, and swift my heart to beating sped. I saw a people who their all could yield, save honor glorious. Saw troops in frost and hunger stroll, that yet could fight victorious. From leaf to leaf my glances sped, I could have kissed the lines I read. Then did my thought the realms unclose, till then not imaged ever. A life within my heart uprose, whose charm had held me never. As if on wings my day now sped, how short appeared the book I read. It was finished, and the evening too, yet all my fire was burning. I found so much I never knew whereof I would be learning. The mystic scroll I would unroll, and then I sought old ensign stall. He sat where he had sat before, of wanted task tenacious. I marked when first within his door his glance to me ungracious. He seemed this question to indict, can one not even have rest at night? But former those from me had fled, 
I came with spirit altered. Of Finland's latest war I've read, of Finn myself I faltered. Though here still more my soul has burned, perchance by you I'll not be spurned. Such was my greeting. In surprise the old man sudden lifted up from his net his glowing eyes as over an army shifted. Yeah, of those scenes can I declare, if so you will, for I was there. Upon his couch of straw and calm I sat and heard the story of Dunger's fire, of Captain Malm and former deeds of glory. So bright his glance, so clear his brow, his beauty I remember now. What blood scenes had been his decree to share what perils fated, not only triumph but defeat, with sting yet unabated. So much the world had now forgot lay shrined within his fateful knot. There sat I mute, with ear intent, no word of his was wasted. The night already was half spent when from his cot I hasted. He followed to the threshold rand and warmly pressed my offered hand. Since then he only seemed content with me, but not with others. Our pain we shared, our joy we blent, our vapen smoked as brothers. He was the autumn I the spring, but student I, he more than king. These tales that I in song recite, the old man's lips repeated, I heard them many a silent night beside his fireplace seated. In simpler words they leave my hand. Receive the songs, dear fatherland. <laughs>